Good morning, Rich here from Gateway Garden Center in Hocassin, Delaware, talking about home gardening and vegetable production. And in this little corner of the garden here, we have a very lovely little herb section and select herbs that the, the gardener wanted to grow for obvious reasons. There's a pesto type um, basil here. There's a holy basil. There's some lovely rosemary and some thyme. We've got marjoram, we've got oregano, and we actually have some parsley that came across the summer without bolting, which is pretty impressive. Um, it's gonna really start to come back on as it cools off. It's a cooler crop. So some of these are perennial. Um, not all are, the basils are definitely not, but they did a good job of planting their perennial herbs on the outer periphery where you can incorporate some seasonal annual type in the middle. And um, this is about the space you would need for, for like a family in terms of herbs of your choice. It doesn't have to be what we have in here, but you certainly don't need more than this because what you tend to do is waste at that point. And part of home gardening is to figure out what works for you. Some people may use more herbs. Fresh herbs are great in all your, in, um, all your recipes, um, as well as dried. Like for instance, oregano is actually better and more beneficial when it's dried. It's nice, fresh, but it's very strong. So it actually loses a little of its pungency as it dries, but gains um, more um, vitamin content. So again, size-wise, planning, proper planning, so you don't have too much. One of the things I learned um, in farming was if you did have too much, you know, you got a neighbor or something, see if they want some. But planning properly from the beginning can prevent waste. And we, we don't want a lot of waste in the garden. Um, particularly because it's a food item. So here's your herb garden ready to go for any culinary ventures coming up.